Hey guys, it's Sax Productions 101 here with my next deck reveal and review. This is the B Titanium decks that 311 just came out with, and so let's get into the review. I have a blue one and a red one, but for this deck review, I'll be reviewing the red one. So you can see some of the red metallics in the deck, but we'll also be showing you the blue deck as well. So let's get right on into the review. So as we look at the box, you see a normal B box, except you do see the metallics built in, such as the golds. It's really metallic on the front of this deck. The golds look superb, but overall it's a normal B uh, designed box here. Um, but the only difference is, is that it is embossed. You can feel that the lettering on the front is raised. Um, on the side it says Diamondback Club Special. Um, it has the US Playing Car Company address there. And it also does have hints of the metallic gold on both sides there. On the bottom you see the Theory 11 logo and some copyright information. On the back you see the back design. And on the top it says B and 92 and it has a black seal there. So let's get this deck right on open. Now, as you can see, the red deck, the coloring almost looks exactly the same as in a normal, non-metallic, non-titanium, regular B deck of cards. Once you get these in your hands, you can definitely tell that there is metallic ink on these, and these are, the red on here is a little bit darker, and it's way more intense to intensify that metallic coloring on it as well. So let's check out the two jokers. These jokers look fantastic. Like honestly, the this is one of the best renditions of a like classic joker that I've seen in a really long time. The metallic ink just really brings out this little clown riding a bee and I think it looks fantastic. They couldn't have done a better job with these jokers because these jokers look magnificent and the metallic just adds to it and brings out the cards themselves way more and it looks really great. Um, here we have a Theory 11 promo card and a double backer. So let's check out the Ace of Spades. The Ace of Spades is just a simple Ace of Spades, it's the regular B Ace of Spades that comes in any B deck that you really could buy. Except the only difference between this and a regular one is the black does have metallic ink in it. You may not be able to tell so much on camera, but it does look really great in person. And it's really one of those you must see in person kind of decks. So let's check out the King, Queen, and Jack of Spades the court cards. Like as I said, these court cards look really great. The metallic ink brings out almost all the details in the court cards, except going from the tally -ho deck titanium to the B titanium to the bicycle titanium, the court cards do all look the same. There's no difference or differentiation between the decks. They're all the same. Nonetheless, they do look great. So with this deck of playing cards, it's a little more forgiving with the fans because it isn't borderless. It's a regular B um, back design here. The Diamondbacks. It's a regular B. It's um, not like the Stingers. They do not have borders at all. It's more forgiving when you do fans because you can't tell in certain areas if it's clumped or not. But honestly, this deck is really nice. It's really springy, and it holds up really well when you're practicing with it. I think it is very durable, and I've used both of these decks a lot. Now let's show you the blue deck in comparison. You can tell that it is gray. The blue is not as deep and dark as it would be on a regular deck because of the metallic. It's more of a grayish feel, but you can definitely tell that these are metallic in person. And personally, I like the blue better than the red. Both decks handle great, but the red deck does look great. Its metallic inks look great. The cards itself look great, especially 
the red cards with the metallic ink. Everything looks really great on this deck of cards. So the overall deck, I would have to give a 3.9 out of 5. It may not handle as well at times. The fanning, again, is more forgiving because of the borderless design, but it does still clump in many areas. Uh, the thickness of these cards, uh, these cards are actually really rather thin, although they are um, casino quality cards. Uh, the stock does feel a little thin to me, um, but the cards feel really well. Um, there's no like slippage and whatnot. The metallic inks work really well with the cambric finish that comes on the B cards. Um, so the thickness of the cards and the secure feeling, I'd have to give a 3 out of 5. The overall look of this deck, it's a classic B design, except with the metallic and titanium uh, touches in the deck. Uh, so, the overall look of this deck, I'd have to give a 4 out of 5. It's a nice spin on a classic, uh, design, back design, and look of the B deck. Now, the handling and feel of this deck, uh, it handles actually really well. Considerably well, in my opinion. The cambric finish works really well, and it really doesn't falter even after loads of use and practice with it. And these cards fare really well uh, face up and face down. There's not a whole lot of pressure that you have to exert extra on the cards. They just work really well. So the handling and feel of this deck, I would have to give a 4.5 out of 5. It really holds up to the B name and it leaves this classic with a good deck of cards concerning the titaniums and the metallic finish. So thank you guys for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe, and all the links you need to check out will be in the description box down below, and I do recommend checking those links out. So thank you guys so much for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe.